what is your networking strategy in a post-COVID world? Um, I'm seeing a lot of challenges around business networking and particularly going forward, I think in the executive sphere, we will see less of those kind of corporate events where you come together and you have a, a drink in the evening and you see a seminar and you mingle and you exchange business cards. I think we're going to see a lot less of that style of business networking. And so for an executive who is wanting to change jobs or an executive who's wanting to secure maybe their first board seat, networking is really at the heart of that strategy. And we're going to have to really rethink how we go about building rapport with senior business executives and how we get in touch and how we can form meaningful relationships. Now, my advice is to make LinkedIn the heart of your strategy around business networking. And we have to start using LinkedIn in a different way because the days of just clicking on a profile and saying connect um, and hoping that that means some sort of a relationship will transpire are completely, completely over. And that's a, that's, a, that's a real myth that that's how networking occurs. I think you have to show up on the platform and be active and engaged. And I think you have to be sharing your thought leadership. So uh, a lot of people don't put time and effort into this. And I understand life gets busy. But if you want to expand your business network, you really have to be showing up online in digital business networks and showcasing your thought leadership. So you should really be sharing some thought leadership once or twice a week. I think you can do that either via sharing a news article that you think is interesting um, and making some commentary on that article or you can actually write your own little piece. Um, there's two types of ways you can post on LinkedIn. You can just post in the feed and make some comments or you can actually write a, a sort of a blog article and you can share that article. I think you should be looking at both strategies and really putting some time and some effort into it. It actually doesn't take as much time as you think. Um, I'm on the platform all day, every day. I probably only spend 15, 20 minutes on certain activities, but it's enough to keep my presence there and keep my profile up and so on. I combine that obviously with keeping my LinkedIn profile really up to date, really fresh and current and I regularly change it and curate it and add fresh content, add fresh videos, all that kind of thing. I also really use the email function, which is to connect to people, but I write a really good introductory letter. So I might put a very good uh, email sort of cover headline. So it might be, you know, confidential uh, board search assignment underway. Um, you know, I'm in the business of reaching out to people I don't necessarily know, but I've got to get their attention very quickly. So I'll write something a little bit catchy like that. Um, I'll, you know, make a, a, an introduction, a little bit of a pitch, tell them a little bit about myself, but, you know, it's not going to be war and peace. So I get a lot of emails these days on LinkedIn where it's literally paragraphs and paragraphs about the person. And by the time you've got to the end of it, you're ready to hit delete. Um, people don't want to hear, hear too much about yourself but you know a little pitch as to who you are and why you're making contact and then really the bulk of my communication is about the individual um, I've done my research we have mutual connections um, I saw you speak uh, I read your latest annual report your company's annual report so you have to demonstrate and get people's attention very quickly that this just isn't an unsolicited email that there's some real purpose to it and that there's there's actually been some research undertaken. Uh, this is a personalised email for that individual. It's not a cut and paste uh, email. Um, and that can make a massive difference. And then I put my full contact details down below. Now, when I approach someone like that, 99.9% .9 of the time, I will get a direct connection with the individual. And about 80% of the time, I'll get a written response. So that's a very high strike rate. And that goes to show the power of um, using, you know, really sophisticated, you know, you know, 
connection tools. The other thing that's extremely successful is to use the power of referral. People love to uh, refer people, but very rarely do people take full advantage of that and to ask as often as they possibly can to be referred to other individuals who maybe have a better relationship with that person. And when I do a referral, I do a very thoughtful referral. So I'll make some comments about the individual who I'm referring and draw some parallels or some reasons why I think this referral could be very beneficial to the other party. And you should think about that as well when you're doing referrals in your network to really, really put some thought and some effort into how that transpires. And you might actually need the individual's help with that sort of pitch, if you like, as to how you're going to connect the parties. What would be the talking points? What would be interesting? And when you go to and ask for a referral to to X, Y, and Z, come to the table with that information. Come to the table with three key talking points. So, you know, you want to be introduced to someone very high profile like Christine Holgate. Well, you know, come to the table with three main reasons why you'd like to speak with Christine. Why would you, why would that conversation be valuable? Then that way the individual feels comfortable making the recommendation, the referral, and there's some value in connecting the party. So people on both sides of the equation have to see that, that value proposition. So I really think make LinkedIn the heart of your networking strategy. Approach LinkedIn in a new way with a new level of professionalism. Really use it to craft and curate quality relationships. It can be done. And in fact, this is the new way that we're going to be operating, I believe, going forward. So put the effort in now, put the investment in now. It will pay dividends.